Welcome back to my Excel VBA for Professionals course. My name is Alex Louie. What I want you to what I want to do today is I want to teach you how to put a button on an Excel spreadsheet and we're going to click on it and we're going to put some code in, attach some code into there and make stuff happen. And perhaps we can probably do this in later videos as well. I'll teach you how to do different combo boxes or any other controls. So the first thing I want you to do is click on the developer tab here and if you don't have this developer tab on your Excel spreadsheet please go to my initial video for how to actually have this developer tab appear second thing I want you to do is I want you to click insert and today we're gonna to insert a button so we're gonna click on button and we'll just create a button over here and we'll it's automatically gonna prop up a macro name so what we're actually trying what it's actually prompting us to do is we're attaching a function that will be referenced every time we click on this button so it's actually doing it for us which is a good thing so which means that under this macro name button one underscore click we will be able to write code under that function to do certain things that we want. So for example, if we want to copy certain cells from the spreadsheet, then we can do that. If we want to display something, then we can do that. I'm going to actually just do a small example here where I'm going to do a pop-up box and perhaps if I have time, because I do want to keep this video under 10 minutes, I will copy and paste one cell and then paste this to somewhere else. So when you bring this up you can name this whatever you want so I'll, I just keep it as button one underscore click it's good to name your I'm not gonna actually I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna change it I want to teach you guys good practices so I probably just name this BTN first copy and we're gonna click on new and there you go so now we have a function for us to write so that everybody anytime that anybody steps clicks on this button they will automatically be referenced and execute the code within this particular function now one other thing that we need to be aware of is this so if I try and click this uh, nothing's gonna happen so perhaps you may get an error about permissions so I'm gonna go over that now so if you go to file and then you go to options you're gonna see a tab here that says trust center so I want you to click on trust center and then you're gonna click on trust center settings so right now my macros have been disabled with notification which means that any any time that I write a macro with a button or any macro that I want to run in this spreadsheet is going to be disabled and that's the that's a default in Microsoft because if somebody sends you an Excel sheet and they have some macros in there automatically for you to run them you actually have to come to the trust center and enable them because they may somebody may write a malicious macro to delete all your files or do whatever you know whatever malicious things that people can think of they can now if you have something similar to this what you need to do is you need to click enable all macros click on trust access to the VBA project object model and you click OK and you click OK and then you're fine now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this Excel sheet um, and I'll just save it to my uh, browse just save it in my documents I'll call it um, my first button macro So it's going to prompt you to say the following features cannot be saved to save a file, blah, blah, blah. You just continue saving. It's fine. So now if I go, you want to right click on this button and you want to go into assign macro. It's already been assigned. So that's one of the things that you want to look at um, when you are, if you want to assign a new macro or a new button if you want to edit it because you can edit this and you can go directly into this function here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a function called message box 
hello world. I'm going to save this, right? Uh, just click yes. So now if I go back to my spreadsheet and I click on this, and there's my hello world. Again, there's a difference between right clicking and then you see the macro just like this. But if you actually want to run it, you just hover over the button, left click on it, and you'll see the you see whatever you run. So the other thing we could do is we can go directly back to the console window of the code. So if I can do that, do, uh, sign macro, I just click on this and I'll click edit. So I have the ability to do anything I want in this function and I can perhaps maybe print out a particular cell in this particular spreadsheet. So if I want to do something like dim number cell as integer and then I'll say number cell is equal to cells of so it'll be one one row one column one dot value right and I'm going to make the perhaps put it somewhere here so this will be row 13 column one two three four five six row 13 column six so if I say cells column six dot value is equal to number cell so now if I save this, let's do say yes, go back to my macro, let's do that. See that? Right? So it copied copied it just as exactly as I want it on my code. So the 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 point of, of actually having a button in your spreadsheet is that perhaps you want to do a couple of functions that do certain things so you may say okay press this button to do this press this button to do that etc now if I want to rename the button text I can right click then say edit text and I can just say copy first cell do that so if I do that again it's gonna copy I'll just delete this. I'll copy that, and there you go. It's going to copy that value over here. So buttons and in, in, in their actions are pretty much similar to what we've been doing in the previous videos, where you write a function for your macro. Uh, and again, it's pretty simple. The only thing that's different is that when you when you want to start a, a button, you just drag the button down here. You know, you can make it bigger, smaller do that you can even change the I, I believe you can change the color as well so format control you can make it so that uh, I believe the font you can change to green see that there you go um, and there's many things that you can do with this button again you can go back to the code if you right click on this go to assign macro click on that and you click on it and then you're good here. So that's what I'm going to go over in this video. Next couple of videos, I'll start more on buttons and how we can get them to interact. And we'll also go over on how to access individual spreadsheets uh, that you may want to do that as well. Thanks for watching. Again, no ads. If you want to subscribe, appreciate it. Give me a like. Thanks.